Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Look at, well, I woke up to this morning. We got a yellow rose and we got the pink rose. Beautiful. On this rose bush, we have one that's bloomed down there and then we have a bud. Let's look at the other one. And we've got some more that's bloomed. We got a bunch of buds. Bunch of buds is waiting to bloom. Well, how are y'all doing? This is Monday the... <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know what day it is. It's the 25th, I know it's Thursday, so 21st? No, 22nd. <laughs> Okay, sitting out here with Keith. I'm getting ready to head to Athens to go to the library to upload uh, the last vlog and a plan with me. I can go to the Goodwill, drop off the uh, some stuff that we, I decluttered this weekend, and then to good old Walmart to pick up what little groceries we need, and then back home. But I just thought I would check in with you and show, and I just shown you, oh my gosh, we had the yellow rose and our roses are doing so wonderful this year. So we are very happy about that. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the car. Guys, I am in the car and we are headed to Athens. So we've got Dollar General, we've got uh, Library, Goodwill, Walmart. <laughs> so, so far so far. I made it to the library, but before I go in, I got me a donut. I gotta eat me a donut. I haven't ate anything this morning. I don't have to eat a donut, but I chose to eat a donut. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna eat me a donut, then we're gonna head into the library and get these videos uploaded. Hey guys, got the videos uploaded and got them scheduled, everything already. And now on to Goodwill to drop off that stuff at Goodwill. So I'll have it out of my house and then to Dollar General and then to Walmart. And you know what, guys? I forgot my grocery list at home. Okay, guys, we need to make sure this air conditioner is hot. But we've got the library done. We've got uh, Goodwill done, got the drop off there. And we have got Dollar General done. Now on to Walmart. I do believe y'all know one thing I won't be picking up today, chicken gravy. So I know you've watched my other vlog, if you know what I mean by that. <laughs> can give anybody, whoa, that thing flew. I've made a decision. I also want to go to Dollar Tree. I want to see if they have some those little garden ticket things that will be, that any, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to, and then again, I'm like, nah, I don't want to. I need to put something around those roses out there, those stupid dogs. I'm sorry I called them stupid, but they are. They're not my dogs. I don't even have outside dogs. And we get all these outside dogs that come over and mess with our plants. So, yeah, that's a rant for another day. But anyway, so I was thinking about getting one of those, just cheaping a little thing to put up around those two rose bushes out there by that pergola. So, the dog already broke a little piece off the uh, yellow rose, and I don't want them to break anything else, so... I'm going to go up to the Dollar Tree just to see what they have. That was strange. If I could have, I would have got some footage of it. This woman's driving her minivan with that middle, that door on the side of the minivan open. Kind of weird, right? Glad I came here because I also need to get some graduation cards and maybe they'll have some. Okay, guys. Went in Dollar Tree. I came out with everything except the one I went in there for. Just a second. I'll do a little Dollar Tree haul. Okay got me a watering bucket that's a little bigger than a little I happen to that little black one y'all see me with they actually had some Reynolds foil sheets in there I grabbed them while they had them I got graduation cards they had some they had some nice ones and they're from Hallmark got that one got that one so I got my graduation cards I got my gift bags to put that I got, my, uh, got them a little something so, and that so and then I didn't they didn't have of course any of those uh, railings I went in there for uh, went to look for for the uh, around the roses but they did have these so I figured maybe if I put one of these like in front of it the dogs won't be able to get to them so I thought it was worth a try worth a try so that is my big 
Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> Dollar General, I literally, only thing I got at Dollar General was I got my Diet Pepsis. I got me some of my lemon head candies that y'all seen. And that's it. Oh no, mayonnaise. I got a thing of mayonnaise they had a coupon for. So that was all I got at Dollar General. Nothing, <laughs> nothing spectacular. Out of Walmart and then home. Lucky enough, I'm making something very easy for dinner. I'm making piece was actually always my kids favorite too a, a tuna casserole all i do usually i use a box of macaroni and cheese and make it open a can of tuna drain it put it in there and put a can of english cheese in there and mix it all together and that's our tuna casserole and they love it and i'm going to do the same thing this evening except i am not going to be using the box macaroni and cheese i had those some elbow noodles i found while decluttering this weekend and some velveeta sauce that i am going to mix it instead of those using the box okay my little stand went a little cray cray earlier so i think i've got it adjusted back right Woo! i am hot it is so hot already i think it, well it's only 74 degrees but it sure feels hotter guys back in the car sorry about the air conditioner Woo, it was hot and it was cray cray in there but i got lord i am glad i didn't need much prices these prices are just getting ridiculous i mean gosh and then you have to get up and you ring your stuff up. I'm sorry, this is a rant. Okay, I'm, I'm going to self-check out of a become Walmart's employee. And then when you ask one of their employees because they don't have something priced, if they could get you one that's priced or help you, it's like, it's like, I'm doing your freaking job. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shouldn't have said that. <sighs> It's like, I'm doing part of your job, and I know it's not your fault, but, you know, you can at least help and act halfway interested, right? So, it just aggravates me. <laughs> and then with the prices the way they are, too, it's like, mm. Then I, I stumped my toe on the basket, or they rolled the basket over. I started asking, her, do we get workers comp, too? <laughs> I did I get a watermelon. They had it for, like, $4.97. That's still high, I know, but for this year, it's good for us. Cheapest I've seen it. And I think I picked out a good one. It had a big yellow spot on it. And it, when you look at it, when I looked at it, when I thought what it would weigh when I picked it up, it was a lot heavier. So that's supposed to be a good sign. We'll see. I never know. If it's not, though, at these prices and these gas prices, I will be calling Walmart's customer service and they will be refunding me <laughs> for bad fruit. I sound like a, I'm just sounding negative, ain't I? I'm sounding like negative Nelly. See, my Freddy's is, is getting ready to open. I cannot wait. This Freddy's opens here. They're hiring. I wonder if they'll hire a food taster. I, I, I have a taste for them. Okay, guys. We've had a change of plans for this week. I got a call. My brother is in ICU with his heart again. So, I'm headed to Tyler to see him. So, no doctor today. I canceled my doctor's appointment to go to Tyler. So, here we go. Also going to I'm gonna, before his visitation time since he's in ICU it's not until 11 so I'm going to try to make it to Tyler in time to go by Office Depot. I got a uh, downloader in an ebook yesterday and I want to see if they will spiral bound and bound for me. So I want to see if I get that done and after I see him I need to run by sale. Uh -huh. Older than me, and it's being this way for I'm 
years, my oldest brother, the one that's right underneath Diane, is has been sick ill for a long time, more or less bedridden now. So they, him and this younger, the youngest brother, they seem to take turns going in the hospital. Uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's just, it is what it is. I mean, they're ill. who took my sister-in-law up there yesterday because my sister-in-law, she's not in good health either my, my brother's wife she had a stroke about a year or maybe two ago and so she, she she's not able to drive herself anymore so my daughter-in-law brought, uh, and Joshua brought Shonda up, uh, up there yesterday to see him and my daughter-in-law said that you know, he didn't look real great so, so I wanted to go up there and see check out on myself I huh, but so you know how it's been since ever since 2020 with going to hospitals and visits there's a lot of restrictions here and there and now I don't, I don't think there is as many restrictions so but I uh, I want to go up here anyway I'm going to see if I can see if the Lord wants me to see him I'll get in to see him Keith could not well he could if it was he could cancel up on point with me. I didn't want him to. I didn't you know I can come by myself. He has a couple of dog grooming appointments this afternoon, so unless something goes otherwise, he could be in there needed. But I told him no, just because I mean this this like I said, this has been going on for so many years. You you know, each time you hope it's you know they're going to you know go on with stuff. So you really don't know. So I just like to talk no, just keep your appointments and stay home and rest. He's had, you know, for his work, he's had a lot of extra overtime he's had to put in, too. So, I told him, if I need you, I will call you. So, that's how it's going, guys. So, I'm just kind of more or less, just kind of rambling on to y'all to get some of my thoughts out of my head. So, thank you for listening. I don't think I even told y'all what. Yesterday, I think I left off blogging. When I'm on my way home. I don't think I even picked up the... I don't think I even picked up to vlog after that. I got home. I unloaded the groceries. Got Keith to help me. Then we cut the watermelon. Big let down. It, don't, it didn't have any taste. It was... It, it would I mean, it, it, it cut really good. Like a split. You know, when you hit it with a knife and you start cutting. And it has that split. Oh, goodness. Right. And I, so, I don't know if it's just the type of the watermelon it was or what. But it had no taste. And if it had any kind of taste, it was a green taste. So, that was really let down. Not the big let down. <laughs> so, then I just 
I cooked the dinner and it didn't turn out like I liked it either. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna fabric make that again. I'll just stitch the box, bad box stuff because that makes, I guess the bad stuff makes it taste good. <laughs> but the velvet doesn't soften the good stuff either. But anyway, I just didn't, I didn't, it didn't taste like I remembered it. I don't know, they just move my taste off. So anyway, then I get, I hear about my brother and stuff yesterday evening. So that's kind of how the evening went. And then, this, so this is Tuesday morning, May the 23rd. <laughs> so I don't think I even said good, uh, what day it was when I was, I just came up here just, wow, just letting you know all my, uh, all the frustrations. So, but anyway, so it is Tuesday the 23rd. And so just wanted to make sure I told you that. It was really quick, guys. And they did a really great job on my book. So and they even put, add, had, I didn't know if they did or not, but it was a, it's a clear cover. And then they added a back to it. So hot dog. And it was like $6 or something. So that ain't bad at all. Heck, it's a lot easier than trying to do a clip on it and keep all the pages together. So, okay. So now headed to the hospital. Okay, just leaving the hospital. I got to talk to him. He looked good. And they were hadn't got done a heart cath yet. They're still waiting on the doctor of course <laughs> so but i'm having to leave so but anyway just checking in now to find my way out of this out of this parking garage i hate parking garages <laughs> and oh and then i got sorry break it on the side there can you say stress mm -hmm. and of course when you when i break out i play with it so then it gets even bigger okay let's see which way do we go which way do we go Evidently, someone had an emergency here in the parking garage because I'm stuck, uh, st stuck here, and there the ambulance is put ambulance. The paramedics are treating a patient to get them in to the their stretcher. So I'm sitting here front row. Hey guys, can y'all tell I was hungry when I went in there? I got chocolate cupcakes. I got chocolate muffin. Well, I got not just chocolate cupcakes, it's the gourmet cupcakes. Key some shorts for our trip. His fruity pebbles, pop tarts, watermelon. But I got Joshua his birthday present. He gonna think he gonna like that. By the time this place, he will have already got it. Okay, car is loaded. That place was crazy too. Of course, it's getting closer to Memorial Day, so what do I expect, right? And graduation. Now to get gas because Sam is cheapest on gas, and then head home. They still have not brought my brother back to do the heart cath yet. So, still don't know anything. I'm just so proud that they let me in, even though it wasn't visiting hours. They had, uh, Jennifer, then we had been given the wrong visiting hours. I'm just so glad God worked that out so I could go in and see them. Okay, so now, let's see how crazy this gas place is. Okay guys, I forgot I stopped at Dollar General because I was gonna get bleach at Sam's but oh my gosh, three of them used to be like $13. Now they want like $19 for three things of bleach. And I know Dollar General had their bleach on with a dollar off coupon, $5 a piece. So I came to Dollar General and got them. I figured Sam's eventually will run them on sale. Then I'll go back to Sam's. But this should be plenty because I have I had about a half a jug of the other one and then the whole one. So that should give me plenty until hopefully Sam runs a sale. So anyway, now we're on the way home. Okay guys, almost home, almost home. I don't know how interesting this vlog is gonna be. So it's got Monday on there. I did a little bit of Dollar Tree haul uh, with you and today took you to Tyler with me. I had you in mind the whole time, even though I wasn't filming the whole time, couldn't fit me in the hospital, of course. And so in, in sounds, I, it was so many people. Mm -mm. <laughs> so I know this probably is not gonna be an exciting vlog, but I'm not gonna end it here. I'm gonna come continue and see what all happens the rest of the day and I may even include tomorrow because then after tomorrow that's when we start being on the road and then I'll start a new one so anyway just wanted to check in with you yeah I thought I'd bring you along with me because I am going to air fry these shake and bake chicken legs because it's already hot and I don't want to put my oven on so this is one that Kayla and Aaron got us for Christmas a few years ago I just put it to use Okay, so we got the shake and bake extra crispy. Yes, so put this in there and then we're going to open up the chicken legs, is what I chose to use. I'm going to go ahead and get this done while I have energy. 
Okay. And let me open up these chicken legs. It says to do one at a time, so that's what we're going to do. really completely defrosted, but oh well. I haven't had this, this turkey bacon ages. It's two. They know, I do know that my brother got out of surgery. He's had his heart cap, but they don't know any of the results yet. The doctor hadn't told him any of the results. Three. I'm always afraid on stuff like this that I'm going to run out of the batter or the uh, powder or whatever. Are y'all the same way? I'm always afraid, paranoid, that I'm going to run out of the Mix. Okay. Four. got to sit on top. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not going to make a mess doing this. I'm going to put some of that right there. Let me wash my hands. Okay, so now we're going to pick this up. I haven't used this thing, like I said, in ages, but let's see if we can figure it out. 400 degrees, and I am going to do it for uh, 20 minutes. And we'll see what we get. Hey guys, I'm gonna say welcome to the science lab because I am going, here is some squash that came out of our garden from last year. And I am gonna stew some squash on top of the stove. But I am investigating whether I'm allergic to yellow onion. Because it seems like when I eat onion or cook it through onion, that's when my allergies kick up. So we're just gonna do a science test. I'm gonna put some onion in here. And if my allergies flare up, we will know together that I believe I'm allergic to onions. <laughs> so I'm going to put my squash in here. I have had these in the freezer. Okay, and I need to get my onion out to get it chopped up. I do know I do not want them to be bad, so I'm just going to use this quarter of onion. Because last time I had my allergies really flared up bad is when I was cooking those collard greens. that Y'all see me get at the... Get at the uh, uh, farmer's market and I hope y'all can hear me over this air <laughs> and so at the end when I was eating a salad with some of, uh, of these onions in there I had my throat got real sore but I didn't break out to the rash like I usually do so I don't know we're gonna find out I'm gonna investigate it I know I'm not allergic to the touch of them because I never break out touching them he said that he's wondering if maybe it's something that the companies are using to uh, to preserve, put it on when they're growing or something. These aren't organic ones. I never really thought about it. I said, well, it could be. Because I've, I've ate the salad with green onion in it. You know, the little green onions, the little bee onions, like that I got in my window. 
and I've had no trouble. I think Keith must be coming in. <laughs> Tay Tay's excited. Wouldn't Keith? <laughs> that was a that was a grooming customer coming to pick up his dog. So anyway, so I figured I might as well try it. So I got this onion anyway. And it could just be a fluke, guys. Lord, I've been fighting. If y'all watched me forever, for a long time, through more of my holy grails, you know I've been fighting allergies for, since you've known me. And my granddaughter, Alexis, has the same thing. She does the same exact thing. Just, they know she's the, she's got celiac, so she don't eat any gluten she had since she was a baby. So she, she's kind of good that she they found out so early because she don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about her. She doesn't know the, the cake, the cookie, and all that kind of texture and, and stuff because she never has really had it. But she also has allergies like I do too. We're allergies. So bless her heart. Okay, so I do smell them. So far I'm okay. I need to get some seasoning in here and a little bit of water. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper and some garlic powder and a little bit of water. But actually, I just thought of this. I didn't put any of this onion in the collard greens. I used onion, minced, dried minced onion when I was cooking the collard greens, so. Now I did eat part of this onion that I'm cooking when I ate the salad. So. And here's some garlic powder. Gotta have some garlic. And some pepper. Okay, so now I'm just going to put probably maybe a half a cup of water maybe and put it on the stove on low. As you can see, I did put a cover on it though. Uh, when I steam my squash, I do put a cover on it till it starts boiling real good. And, till, and if it's got too much liquid, then I take the, the lid off and let it slowly cook the liquid off. But we, I had, this is the first time I have done stewed squash and I don't even know how long. Air fryer's loud. I tell my daughter, she's, they're going to need to get me another one that's not so loud, right? <laughs> she'll probably tell me, Mom, I'm not going to tell you what she probably would tell me. Okay, that 20 minutes is up, and that's how they look on the outside. They're not done yet, of course. I'm, just, I'm going to turn them and let them go probably for another 20 minutes. I want to make sure they're done. Hey guys, this is after 20 minutes, and I've turned them another 20 minutes. Oh, my gosh. I put them on here. And usually, I put them on, and if I see any kind of red juice, I know to put them back in there. But I really do believe they're done. But oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat those. And my squash is cooking. Hey guys, you can call me crazy. Don't trust me, I've been called it before. But, pfft, here. But anyway, I found these premium cupcake liners. I thought they were uh, silicone, but they're not. But they're premium paper. And I know they're made pro out of parchment paper. Parchment paper you can put in the oven. So. We're going to try something. I am going to, y'all remember, I found these cornbread mixes. And these I make cornbread from scratch. So I'm going to make that up. And then I am going to put them in a little bitty, in the little bitty, uh, these cupcake liners that don't need any tin, it says. Don't need, because they're premium. And I am going to put the cornbread mix in that. So that way I can cook them, cook them also in the air fryer. Now this may not be nothing new to y'all. Y'all may have tried this. I just never have. I had had this air fryer and then we got another, it was like a, a Pro XL or something and I did not like that one. I gave that one away. So, but I remembered I having this and I said, I'm gonna try it, do, do the chicken. And so I said, why not try to do the cornbread too? Cause you know, you want to, now with electric bills the way they are, you want to save all the money you can save on your electric bill. So I'm just going to put it Probably put about six on there. Let's see. Let's see how many. Let's see how many I can actually get in here. I think I can get six, and I bet you that'll fill. Them. I bet that'll fill it up. Let's see. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, I am going to mix it up in this little plastic thing with a little tilt on it, so I'll be easy to tilt in there too. So hopefully, we will try. We will try. I'm taking you along for this little experiment. So let me get my egg and my milk to mix this up. I don't 
don't think I even showed you the 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 cups in the air fryer basket. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But here they are. Okay, now let me get the eggs and milk. Okay, so I got my egg. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this thing to make sure I don't get any eggshell in it. And yes, you're gonna see me throw this in the sink. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to open this, which I should have already had open probably. And pour it in here with the egg. I should have probably beat the egg up first, but oh well, oh well. I'm not a very good recipe follower unless it's like a from scratch recipe, then I'm more. It's usually I don't even measure the milk, guys. <laughs> I just put it in there to the consistency I want. And then I'm gonna stir this up. As a matter of fact, I want it to be thinner. I, d I don't like how thick that batter is, so I am going to add a little bit more milk. Okay, that's a little bit better. I wish I had just a solid pan that would fit in here, but I don't have one, so. So this is gonna be the fun part. I wonder if I should, okay. I think I'm gonna try, since this is an experiment, I am gonna try putting them in the cup this way and then putting the cup in the air fryer. Just see how this works. Oh yeah, that worked fine. That, I think that'd be a lot easier than trying to pour it inside the air fryer. Let's see how many more we get. Okay, this one is not as full as the other ones. That's okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to put this in here at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. I guess I should show you, right? <laughs> I got it at 400 degrees and I want to do it for 10 minutes. And now hit enter. So I've got the chicken legs wrapped in full paper. They never leaked anything, so I know they're done. And you just see me put the cornbread in the air fryer here. And the squash is going good. I'll take you over there and show you it. It's still stewing. And so far, guys, the onion hasn't really bothered me. I could feel a little, little something, a little scratch, but nothing like it was with the collard greens. So I think it was just crazy allergies. So I don't think it's onion. Hallelujah. So I love me some onion. So anyway, so let me show you the squash. Okay, so here is the squash just to cook in a way. I'm going to let it cook longer. I love my squash too. Squash to be really soft. Let's check on this together because I have no idea either. So let's see. Oh, look at that. It worked. Goodness, still, nope, still needs some more cooking time, but it's working, guys. I hadn't had to heat up my house. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm going to put it on about five more. I'm going to put it on 400 degrees again. And I am going to go down to like five minutes. I think that's probably all it would probably like. And I'm just going to hit start. See, I love this air fryer a whole lot better than that Power XL thing I had. Oh my, this works so much better. Guys, five minutes over. Let's see. Yes. Beautiful. Maybe a little overcooked, but hey, they're done. They're done. Probably should have done three instead of five. But they look so pretty. So I got my chicken ready. got my cornbread ready. This cornbread, what I'll do is I'll just put that squash on top of it, let it soak up those juices, then it'll be soft. Mm-hmm. But, and then my squash is still cooking. Going good. So if we should be able to eat on time at five o'clock. Time do y'all eat. Y'all see my, 
<laughs> See my mask back there. I haven't cleaned up yet. So what time do y'all eat at night? We eat usually at five o'clock. It's just our time to eat. That's the time I get usually get Keith up to go, go to work. Or, and so we just got in that habit. So even on his days off, we eat at five. I'm just not as strict about eating at five. <laughs> Having it ready by five. And then I get it all cleaned up. So usually we've ate and I've got everything cleaned up by 530. So and that feels awesome. So let me know about you though. What time? Because I know when I worked outside the home, a lot of times my meals was at like six or six thirty, eight or seven, for that matter, according to where I worked and how far away I was. So, but anyway, just wanted to check back in and show you how that cornbread came out. Dinner is cooked. It was very easy. Didn't have to heat my house up. So yay, yay, yay. I'm glad I remember that air fryer. <laughs> and. Uh, so I will talk to you later. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday morning. I don't know, 24th, 24th. I know that because tomorrow's the 25th and that's AJ's graduation. How are you doing this morning? Well, yesterday evening, I think, believe I left you right after I finished dinner. It cooked and it was good. Uh, and then I don't think we did anything else. They saw it pick the camera back up. But this morning I got up and ah, get, today's my only day home this week. So I gotta make the best of it. I've uh, got laundry started. I just cleaned out my refrigerator since it's trash day to make sure that's cleaned out. I did find out Kayla and I'm gonna be staying here Friday night. Cause so we got the gradu AJ's graduation Thursday night, Kenzie's graduation Friday night, Joshua's birthday party Saturday evening and then church Sunday. So it's going to be a busy, busy time. Uh, my brother, I did find out, I don't know the second cars are going by. I don't know if I told you, if I came back on a film after I found out, I did find out what all the heart cath they found. They did find another blockage of 90% and they put another stent. That's his number 21 stent. And so they did do that, but he was doing okay. And I assume probably he'll come home today. I haven't heard anything this morning. It's early, it's only like seven. So I got my coffee, thought I'd come out here on the porch and talk to you guys and check in with you. Uh, like I said, I've just got to do house stuff today. I got a pack for, so we'll be ready as soon as Keith gets home tomorrow morning to leave to go to Belton and and then we'll spend the night there after AJ's graduation and then come back tomorrow, I mean, Friday, to go to Kenzie's. So it's gonna be a busy weekend. I don't know how much I'm gonna get to vlog because I wanna enjoy my family, but I'll try to vlog some. If nothing else, get pictures, maybe do like a little slideshow or something. But anyway, we'll see what we get up to today. Remember what I was going to tell y'all yesterday? I may have already said, I don't know, but we got a regular catty shack going around up here, out here. I got home yesterday. Keith had bought the mold, uh, the mold poison because they had killed the blackberry plant. I think I told y'all that. But anyway, he has dug trenches like every four foot or so from the front of the house all the way to the back and put this poison in that he got. So I'm hoping that it works. <laughs> and so, but... Hey, uh, so he's, he got her done, so. <laughs> also, an update on the watermelon. Yes, Sounds is definitely the place to get the watermelon. The watermelon was so good. So, look, now the cupcakes, those duck. Now, the muffins, they're always good. Their muffins is delicious. You cannot beat the price. You get like six for four ninety eight. You cannot beat that. Costco charges double that for their muffins. And... Now, the ultimate cupcakes that I see, y'all seen that I got yesterday, the decorative, whatever, the supposed to be, what are they, I forgot what they even called them. But mm, the lemon, I ate a bit, a half of the lemon one, and I tasted a half of the little, I think it was supposed to be strawberry, but me and Keith both agree, the strawberry wasn't that great. Now, the lemon was good. Now, that's as far as we've gone on those, but I was just going to give you an update on that. So, if you have a Sam's and, and you want watermelon, go to Sam's. Walmart, I am not going to buy. I'm not going to say I'm not. I am going to try my best not to buy another watermelon from watermelon, watermelon from Walmart because every time I have got one, they have just, it's, it's been green. It, or, and it looks like it's ripe, 
but I don't know if they just pick them too green or where they're buying them from. It's just a bad source or what, but it was just, I wouldn't, your supplier may be better. At my Walmart, I'm not buying anymore. Okay, guys, let's get these clothes folded. Huh, I finally, uh, after I left you on the porch, I uh, came in, got my morning routine did, and I got my planner, hoping each week's uh, memory layout, base lay down, and called up through, through yesterday evening. And so, and now I just got finished prepping the grad, grads <laughs> gifts and got them wrapped and ready to go. And so back to laundry. And I don't have really, I think I have three pieces of those chicken legs left from last night. I think I was, I was trying to think for dinner. I didn't have any squash left. But I think that that should be enough. And I'll just have to figure out some sides to go with it. And I, for myself, will probably just do a hot dog or something. Uh, that way I don't have to cook. Cause I don't want anything left in the refrigerator since we're going out of town. And uh, I did clean out my fridge this morning. I think I already told you that and brought it out before the trash came. So, and that came just not long ago. So we got that done. So let's see, of course there's always stuff to be done. Now what they're ready to get done, that's the question. That's the question. Okay, let's see. And so let's get these clothes folded. Good morning guys and about the time I say that a truck comes by yeah I'm looking a hot mess just got my shower it's uh and got uh, got all dressed and ready and so this is Thursday the 25th AJ's graduation day yesterday was busy guys I took off around with me with for the laundry and stuff and that's that I just had it I had to hop to it and get to it and but uh I wanted to go ahead and end this vlog this morning and I'll start a new one, but I wanted to make sure I uh, did a, did our outro uh, for this video and just thank y'all so much for coming along with me and joining me in my days in the life. And y'all just to understand how when I'm vlogging with you, I literally feel like y'all are right here and I don't feel as lonely and I don't feel uh, al well, lonely, lo alone, duh. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I will see you next vlog.